we are not out here to check immigration status and, and to make any arrests based on immigration status. A local sheriff is generating a lot of buzz with his immigration policies. The Henderson County Sheriff's Office is renewing its agreement with the Federal Immigration Authorities, better known as ICE. 7 News' Nikkel Smith is joining us to explain those plans. Nikkel. Well, Tom and Amy, Sheriff Lowell Griffin said before that he thinks the program wasn't worth the cost. But now he's moving to extend the agreement with ICE. We wanted to find out why. The false narratives are there that we're out here basically trolling, uh, you know, our, our immigrant communities uh, looking to pick pick people up, and that's simply not true. Henderson County Sheriff expects it to stay that way as they renew an agreement to continue the 287G program through Immigration and Customs Enforcement, or ICE. That allows us to do the research uh, on it, the background of a person after they've been arrested. He says deputies have no authority to check someone's immigration status before they're jailed. The sheriff says he agreed to extend the program with financial help from the county. Once we identify these that after they've been arrested and we place these detainers, then the federal government can put pick that up and go through the deportation hearings and the deportation process. The 287G is an act of terror by the county commissioners. Immigration attorney George Pappas says well he supports the sheriff. The best sheriff that this county has seen in years. He disagrees with this policy. The people that cook our food, repair our cars, clean our lawns, wait our tables, paint our houses, these are the immigrants that have built Henderson to just stab them in the back like this with an unconstitutional act is reprehensible. The sheriff says he hopes hiring a community liaison will help alleviate the fear immigrant communities have with law enforcement. Nobody should be a victim of a crime and be afraid to report that uh, to law enforcement. And the sheriff says that he's working with the county leaders to try to make the 287G program more affordable for the sheriff's office because they don't get any federal funding for it, Tom. No, no, the sheriff mentioned hiring a liaison. Uh, Nikhil, what would that person do and is that person on board yet? So that person is not on board. They're still in the process of trying to hire them and they hope they can help to kind of bridge that relationship between the immigrant community and the sheriff's office, Tom. All right, we'll see how the plan works. Nikhil, thank you.